gives this woman to this man to be with today? Her mother and I. Welcome, guys. Thank you. You look gorgeous. Don't they look gorgeous? <laughs> All the stress has been for this moment. And here you are. This is the day. We want to welcome you as family, friends. We want to welcome you here today as you witness before God the union of two bees, the bells and bread and comes. We also want to say to South Africa, for you what not here can be us, and us weet you will so graag here be us, special your pa, Peter Berenkamp, ons weet dat vandag dit in jylle hart is om hier te wees, en ons sê baie welkom aan jy jylle um, hierdie uh, video weer kyk. <laughs> that was just a few words for those South Africans. <laughs> They couldn't be here today, and we know that in their hearts they so long to be here. Let us have a prayer. Father in heaven, we come before you and we desire your presence to bless us, to surround us and strengthen us that this joyous experience may be one that will be written and recorded in heaven itself as a day where this union through the Holy Spirit has been brought together. We pray in Christ's name. Amen. I want you to share a few things from the very first time we sat down together. And if you remember, we spoke about the single greatest gift that we could give each other. And we said that that was the Holy Spirit. So I want to read in Luke chapter 11 from verse 9 a few things that Jesus said about the Holy Spirit. And listen carefully. And I say to you, ask, and it shall be given you. Seek, and ye shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened to you. For everyone who asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and to him that knocketh it shall be opened. He has the confidence of asking, knocking, coming to your heavenly Father. Then he says this, If a son shall ask bread of any of you that is a father, or father-to-be, will he give him a scorpion? Or if he ask a fish, will he give him a serpent? Or if you ask an egg, will you offer him a scorpion? If then, being evil, ye know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask Him? He wants to give you the Holy Spirit. And you remember why? It's the single greatest gift that you can ever give each other. I brought my apple with today. <laughs> I'm shining it up again. I, I, I'm repeating this because whenever you look at this video, you will always remember the greatest gift you can give each other. What's the purpose of an apple? To be eaten. To be eaten. Well. Mm. <laughs> It looks good. It tastes good. I'm going to have another bite. <laughs> mm. I did have breakfast. <laughs> but this apple is really so good. Now, if this apple was rotten, would I carry on eating it? 
If it had a worm in it, would I eat it? No. Half a worm? No. Maybe it's got half already gone, right? <laughs> well, the purpose of an apple is to be so delicious and so yummy that you want more. And because this apple is so yummy, I'm going to have another bite. <laughs> You see, the whole experience of fruit is to say, eat me, taste me, and enjoy me, and have more of me because I am so yummy, right? It's exactly the same with the Holy Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit, what is it? It is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. Goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. So whenever you bite into Donovan's life, mm, he needs to taste yummy because the Holy Spirit's in his life. And whenever you taste Abby's life, she's so delicious because mm, the Holy Spirit's in her life. Just think of these first three. Love, joy, peace. Every time you come home, there's love, joy, peace. Every single time. Wow, what a home! Yummy! I want more because you are yummy! The yummiest wife, the yummiest husband that God wants to make you for each other. And remember we said that God designed that it's not good for man to be alone. And he made a help meet. And that help meet is not just for doing the dishes and doing the chores and the burdens of the daily activity, it is actually to cultivate each other's character for heaven. And that's the help meet. I believe the Holy Spirit inside each of you wants to develop love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness. Your greatest battle is not the next six months. <laughs> Your greatest battle is not going to be anything financially. The greatest battle is going to be to stay connected to the Holy Spirit. Because that produces the most yumminess inside of you that you will be for each other. And so, Jesus said, ask because the Holy Spirit wants to be given by the Heavenly Father to you guys. Remember, love. Is it a two-way or one-way? I'm just checking. One way. <laughs> Two. One. <laughs> <laughs> Love is always and only one way. A relationship is always two ways. Because love is always towards another. Because God gives us the ability to love. It doesn't come from ourselves. It's always one way. Relationships are always two way. If we ask to love our enemies, if we waited for our enemies to love us back, there'd never be love. And so it's always one way. Now, yeah, you are not enemies, but friends, making this union together. Let that Holy Spirit love inside each of you be one way. And remember, we said the nicest fight to ever have is to be the first to serve. The first to actually sacrifice to the other. And so I invite you today. To be the yummiest couple that God wants you to be for each other. 1 Corinthians 13. Never lose sight of it. God wants to place His Holy Spirit inside of you. And just like this apple didn't become an apple overnight. It stayed connected to the branches which stayed connected to the trees. Which stayed connected to the ground. Which got all its nutrients. It was a process so when you are connected to the Holy Spirit, the natural result, like a tree that keeps growing, is a natural result of fruit, is the fruit of the Spirit. So stay connected to the Holy Spirit. And you guys will be the yummiest Christians. But not just that, the yummiest wife, the yummiest husband for each other. There is a special poem. That's going to be in your honor said today.
I love you for giving your heart to me and trusting you with your pride. I love you for wanting me and needing me by your side. I love you for the emotions I never knew I had. I love you for making me smile whenever I feel sad. I love you for your thoughts of me where I'm always on your mind. I love you for finding that part of me that I never thought I'd find. I love you for the way you are and for how you make me feel. But most of all, I love you because I know you're 